Yorktown High School. I'm Michael Shea along with Jay Fazette. We're here for Washington Lee coming to take on the Yorktown Patriots. Jay, going back to your own days as a swimmer, swimming against a rival must have brought something extra to the meet. It did. Um, we didn't have the luxury of having an inner county rival when I was a kid swimming in high school in Pittsburgh 41, 45 years ago. But it does get you up. And of course, there's also that rivalry among the parents, which are up in the bleachers right now. Uh, some of these kids, as we know, swim against each other during the winter and through the rest of the year in their summer leagues, they could be on the same team. And it's both teams are coming in undefeated so far, so someone's gonna fall tonight. Yeah, well, someone won't leave undefeated. That's for sure. All right, well, it's time for the meet. Yorktown Washington Lee, game on. Well, the energy level from both teams is pretty high right now. And our first event of the evening will be the medley relay. The diving part of the evening has already occurred tonight. And now it's the swimming races. So as they finish up the first leg, it looks like the Yorktown team in lane five has taken an early lead. Jacob Larson swimming the first leg for the Patriots. But Noah Swisher has the Generals in a close second place after the first leg. Patriots with Brady Allman. Swimming the second leg have opened up a lead here. And it'll be up to his teammates to maintain it. Now Alexander Zidlicki. Able to maintain the lead for the Patriots. And the Patriot team in lane three is contesting the Generals team in lane four for second place at this point. He's win the final leg. And Griffin Romanek is able to maintain the lead and take first place for Yorktown. Patriots pick up a second place finish as well. Washington Lee in third. Before the meet, Jay Fazet was able to talk with Washington Lee coach Christina Dorvier. Uh, we have two undefeated teams, both Arlington County teams um, coming together. We've been crosstown rivals for quite some time in pretty much every sport. Um, and so this has always proves to be one of the most exciting meets of the entire season. So what's the last few years look like in terms of this head-to-head uh, -head competition? Yeah, so when we first started 10 years ago, um, Washington Lee in general wasn't actually winning pretty much any meet. And so we've worked really hard over the last decade to really build a program that was competitive in our, in our county. And the last couple years have been tough for us. Um, but prior to that, we actually were the district champions on the boys' side um, for about three years in a row. Um, and 2013 was the last year that we were the district champions. So we're here actually trying to kind of snag back that title for the boys' side. Um, on the girls' side, unfortunately, Yorktown has had the domination on the girls' side in terms of being district champion for probably well over 20 to 30 years. So that's really a dynasty they have going. Um, but it's always something and it's, it, that we're working towards and a big goal that we have one day to hopefully have a program that's capable of really give, not only giving them a run for their money, but coming out as the district champs on the girls' side. All right, last question. Is there anybody in particular, any event in particular we should focus on or that you're counting on? Yeah, so... Um, we were actually surprised this year. We had a couple freshmen who, um, interestingly enough, are actually in the Yorktown School District and should actually be swimming for Yorktown tonight, but instead are Shh. instead <laughs> um, are doing the IB program at Washington Lee, and so they're swimming on our team. Uh, so they're going to be some notables to watch for sure, um, and they'll be in races like the 100 fly. That's going to be a pretty great race. The 200 freestyle and the 500 freestyle on both the boys' and girls' side should be a great race. But if you're a spectator, 
Um, I would say that the best time to really pay attention is during the relays. That's when everybody's really up and excited. Um, and it's also where the big points are. So it's something that we're really looking towards. All right, so the girls medley relay now. And at the first turn and the first leg of the relay, the race remains tight. Uptown takes an early lead, but they are closely followed. Bryn Edwards swimming uh, for the Generals in lane four, giving close pursuit to Lauren Allard, who's swimming for the Patriots in lane five. The race remains tight as they reach the halfway point of the relay. Very small lead for Yorktown now in lane five. As we go to the butterfly, leg of the race, Mariah Bowman trying to hold the lead against the fierce charge by Ellie Ridgeway. Ridgeway appears to have closed the gap now. We're coming into the freestyle leg, the anchor leg, and they are tied. Yorktown and Washington Lee contesting for the win here in the medley relay. Suzanne Dolan swimming against Evie Geisman. Dolan takes a slight lead of the turn. And now for the home stretch. Dolan has opened up a gap. Will take first place for Yorktown. Washington Lee is second. Washington also finishing third with Yorktown fourth in the medley relay on the girls' side. Now we're up for the boys' 200 yard freestyle. <laughs> Jacob Larson for the Patriots, Brian Mead for the Generals. Jonathan Day for the Patriots, contesting for first place right now. Jonathan Day has a very slight lead as they come to start the fourth length. Meet is second, Larson is third as we're at the halfway point. Larson has closed the gap. He's now swimming close to even. Mead and Day trying to hold on to a lead and keep challenging. Larson coming on strong. As we approach the final turn, Larson pulling even appears to pull the head. We are tied at the final turn. We go to the home stretch. Larson will get a victory. Day is second. Mead is third. Very tight field. Eric Weiner finishes fourth for the Generals. All right, well this, I, I gather, has a little special sense to it. Little rivalry, Inner Arlington. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's a, our, probably our biggest dual meet of the season. Uh, it's a huge rivalry. Um, the kids love it and get really pumped up for it. It's great, too, because um, they all know each other from Bing County and from probably going to middle school together and swimming on summer teams and club teams together, that they enjoy racing their friends and kind of seeing the outcome each year because um, it tends to rotate and change kind of depending on what team, you know, school has what talent. And so. Now, in a, a, a meet like this, gosh, I swam all through high school. I should know that. A meet like this, do you have to do anything special to get them psyched up and adrenaline going, or is it all just happening on its own? 
most of it happens on its own. Um, we do a little things. We have like pasta dinners, and the kids normally don't make put as many banners up. And t we have T-shirts, so they get a little more into it on the spirit realm um, because of it. But they do it all on their own. It's not something that we even need to remind them. They they have charted when this meet is at the, the beginning of the season. Anything special we should look for as the uh, the, the viewers of this, the spectators? Any event? Any person? that you think is going to surprise us tonight? I think it's all going to be fast and just really exciting uh, to watch. The relays, I think, are always the most exciting um, that the kids really get, I think, the most pumped up for and will be some of the most um, exciting races. Um, for us, we have a lot of relays in individual kids that are trying to get state cuts and even um, potentially break some of our records. Uh, and since they have good competition, uh, they will have a better shot at doing it tonight and stuff like that. So that's always fun. So there are qualifying times to get to the next level, yeah. to this, to the regionals or the state level, and that could be done tonight. Yes, I think it will be done a lot tonight um, on both sides. Mainly relays tend to be the big qualifying times for states and a couple um, individual events. All right, now it's time for the girls' 200-yard freestyle. It remains relatively tight as they approach the first turn. Middle lanes all about even at this point. Catherine Lundy, Catherine Emanuel, and Elizabeth Romano contesting for first place now. Emmanuel has taken a bit of a lead now. Pushing ahead of Romano, but Romano is still very close. And at the halfway point, Matthew Emmanuel trying to extend her lead. now still swimming ahead Romano starting to close the gap now not much separating Emmanuel Romano dueling it out here in 20 yard freestyle we're approaching the final turn uh, Emmanuel is ahead but not by much Mono charging. Emmanuel swimming hard to stay ahead, and as they come in, Emmanuel has the win for Washington Lee. Very tight race. Mono second for Yorktown, Monday third for Yorktown. Now time for the boys. Individual medley. Brady Allman of the Patriots swimming in lane five. Taking an early but very small lead. Nick Reeves swimming in lane four for the Generals is in close pursuit. And they are effectively tied as we meet the first and the first leg of the individual medley. Into the backstroke now. Reeves is pulled ahead. Closely pursued by Allman. Brady Allman now starting to slip behind a little bit. And we are halfway through the middle of medley. Nick Reeves in the lead. Zach Rosenthal in third for the Patriots. Brady Allman is coming on strong in the breaststroke. He has tied Nick Reeves. And Allman has a slight advantage over Reeves now. Allman
Chapman pushing his advantage. And we'll go into the final leg of the relay and Almond has taken the lead. Reeves pressing Almond, trying to catch up now in the freestyle leg. And in the home stretch, Brady Almond continues to lead. Almond will finish strong. Brady Almond wins the individual medley. Nick Reeves in second. Zach Rosendahl for the Patriots, claiming third place. Up, All right, now it's time for the girls' individual medley. The field remains very tight as we approach the first turn. Ellie Ridgeway in lane four and Mariah Bowman in lane three. Out in front early. Chandler sends the ball so toward the front. And Izzy Mowry also in position to contest for the lead. In the backstroke portion now. Ellie well, Ridgeway has the lead, closely followed by Mariah Bowman. Izzy and Chan Chandler Sensabaugh contesting for third place. Now they're pushing lead into Mariah Bowman. We are halfway through. Ellie Ridgeway has a lead. But four swimmers are in contention. Ridgeway trying to hold the lead. Mariah Bowman closely pursuing her. Ridgeway and Bowman have tied as we begin this last leg of the individual medley. And they are approaching the final turn. Slight advantage to Ridgeway. And we're on the home stretch. Ellie Ridgeway swimming in first place. Can she hold the lead against Mariah Bowman? Ridgeway takes the win. Bowman is second for the Patriots. Ridgeway first for the Generals. And the boys, 50 yard freestyle. Swimming in lane five, Mike Pepilardo has a slight lead over Mateus Moreno. Papalardo will hold the lead. And Papalardo edges out Moreno to take first. Griffin Romanic is third for the Patriots. Taking a look at the start of the boys 50 yard relay. Mike Papalardo, one of the first swimmers into the water off the starting block. Now it's time for the girls 50 yard freestyle. No. And they're off. Evie Geisman. Basically tied with Caitlin Luncher and Michaela Morrison. Geisman now, slight advantage as they near the, the finish line. And Evie Geisman will win it by two hundredths of a second over Michaela Morrison. And 
Lynn and the boys, 100 yard butterfly. Jaya Kampati has taken a lead. We're approaching the halfway mark. Kampatati is ahead for the generals. Matt Worski and Alexander Zidlicki are contesting for second place right now. Kampati. Swimming in the lead now, coming in the home stretch. And he has an easy win for the Generals in the 100 yard butterfly. Matt Wariski and Alexander Sidlicki in second and third place. All right, the girls wonder yard fly now. There are your lane assignments. Ellie Ridgeway, swimming in lane four. Has the lead as we approach the first half. The halfway point. Ellie Ridgeway with a comfortable lead. Raya Bowman swimming in second position now. And Chandler Sensenbaugh in a very close third place position. We're getting to the final turn, Ellie Ridgeway. And in the home stretch, Ellie Ridgeway continues to lead. Bowman will contest Sensabaugh for second at this point. Bowman has opened a gap over Sensabaugh. Bowman will finish second, Sensabaugh third, but another a win for Ellie Ridgeway in the 100 yard fly. And now it's time for the boys 100 yard freestyle. And the swimmers are off. Field remains tight as we approach the first turn. Brian Mead, Mike Papalardo, and Zach Rosenthal have an early lead as we come to the half play point. And it's Mead and Papalardo contesting for first place. Brian Mead swimming in lane four for the generals, starting to pull ahead. As we go into the home stretch, Mead has the advantage. And Brian Mead is lengthening his advantage. Mead finishes first for the Generals. But he is followed by four Yorktown Patriots. And they're off at the girls' 100 yard freestyle. Pushing out to the lead now as we approach the halfway point. Suzanne Doan for the Patriots, followed by E.B. Geisman for the Generals, and Catherine Lundy for Yorktown. Dolan now cruising. As she goes in the home stretch, Dolan has a strong lead. Evie Geisman and Catherine Lundy will have to fight for second place. Dolan wins it. And Geisman edges out Lundy for second place. Now the boys 500 yard freestyle. The distance swimming event. A lot more strategy and pacing involved. Swimmers have to know uh, what they can do and when they can do it in this race. And at the first, um, at 
the 50 yard mark, Day, Cranwell, Swisher, and Weiner were more or less in the lead. Early in the meet, I had a chance to talk to Jay Fazette about swimming in the region. All right, now, Jay, we've seen a lot of competitive, exciting races so far tonight. It's got to reflect the strong swimming community that we have in Arlington. Yeah, that's really exciting for me, having this part of my past is living in a community where swimming and a region, this whole region, swimming is a very strong sport. And you know, what, what swimming does for these kids, it gives them a, a strong sense of discipline, of competitiveness, it's healthy. I mean, we all know for somebody that's got ailments as we get older, the best thing for you is swimming. So they're starting off with that in their bones. Right. Yeah, it's definitely one of the few true lifetime sports. Do you compete still? Yeah, actually, the last five years, no, but I have swum in a lot of master's meets. Master's starts when you get out of college, runs every five-year increment. So I started swimming at age 30 competitively, and I, the last meet I swam in, I'm 58 now, I swam when I was about 50. All right. So I will do it again. It's just you don't do it forever every year. I'll, I'll pick it up uh, probably when I turn 60 when I'm at the bottom of my age group. <laughs> Shrewd move. All right, let's get back to the meet. Very good, All thanks. Right, thanks. All right, Jonathan Day now. And it started to pull away from the field. And he is almost halfway through the 500 yard freestyle. Swimming comfortably ahead. But Cranwell Weiner and Swisher will press him most likely over the second half of the race. The 500 yard also rep represents more of a challenge to swimmers uh, because the field tends to spread out a bit. And even though you're swimming against some really good competition, you may not have the same amount of uh, push factor involved in improving your time. So, we saw Jonathan Day in lane five, George Cranwell in lane three. Our head of the field now, Eric Weiner. Swimming in the third position, he's in lane six. Day about a third of a pool length ahead of George Cranwell at this point in the race. And the leader, Jonathan Day, now heading to his last lap of the race. And Day is into the home stretch. He looked like he might have been threatening a five minute mark, but he will finish the 500 meters in just over five minutes. So for Day, the win. Cranwell coming in second. Eric Weiner, Noah Swisher, third and fourth for the Generals. And now the girls 500 yard freestyle. At the 
first turn. Fielded eight swimmers, very tight. The lane starting to pull away now. Catherine Emanuel swimming in round four and Elizabeth Romano swimming in round five. Pulled away from the field. But many, there's so much remaining attention. It is a long race. Lap or quarter away. Crowd still cheering him on. Well, this is the event of the evening that gives the swimmers a chance to show their stamina. Ability to pace themselves. I must say the uh, the swimmers on the deck and the spectators in the gallery, though, throughout this meet have had to show some of the same qualities. So, uh, a lot of cheering going on, a lot of encouragement. Romano and Emmanuel now. So we more or less together. Romano in lane five. Emmanuel in lane four. for first place in the race and they'll be pushing each other for the remainder of the race. And Elizabeth Romano now for the Yorktown Patriots in her final lap in her first position. Catherine Manuel the Washington Generals though. Close behind in second. And Romano now in the home stretch. And 
Romano will win the 500 yard freestyle. Catherine Emanuel coming in second for the Generals. And then the swimmers three, four, and five are all Patriots. And another relay, the boys 200 yard freestyle relay. Swimming in lane five, Brady Allman for the Patriots. Has given his team an early lead. Andrew Fleckenstein swimming in lane four for the Generals. Kept his team in contention in second place. And now we're halfway through the second leg of the relay. Patriots still in front. Generals in lane four. Pressing them from second place right now. Griffin Romanek. Holding the lead for Yorktown. Nick Reeves. Good testing for second place for the Generals. And Mike Papalardo now on the home stretch. Papalardo has a gap between himself and Jaya Kampapati. Yorktown finishes first, Washington is second, and Yorktown takes the third and fourth positions. And now it's the girls 200 yard freestyle relay. Yorktown in lanes three and five, Washington in lane number two now. Pretty much tied after the first leg of the relay. Second leg. And now Yorktown in lane five. Catherine Lundy. Pushed ahead, gave her team the lead at this point. And Aiden Dick is pursuing the leader. Close the gap with Yorktown, swimming in lane four, as we get near the anchor leg of the relay. Yorktown in first place now, Washington Lee in second, but the lane three Yorktown team. Henry Brooks is pushing, uh, going to press Washington Lee for second place. Suzanne Dolan has lengthened her lead and she will finish first. Yorktown takes second. And then a very tight race for fourth place in the last three lanes there. Chandler Sensabaugh swimming in lane seven. Pushed ahead and picked up fourth place for Yorktown. yard backstroke for the boys side you see your lane assignments and they are off the middle lanes remain tight as they make the first turn. It's 
Jacob Larson in lane five. Jaya Kampati in lane four now. Contesting for the lead. Slight edge to Larson. And as they make the final turn, they're in the home stretch. Larson has the lead over Kampati. And Larson will win by about a quarter of a second. Nick Reeves is third for the Generals. And the girls are off in the 100 yard backstroke. And for the Patriots, and there's a slight advantage as they reach the halfway point. Isabel Lee in lane four, also contesting for first, and Emily Brooks in lane three. Morrison now fell behind on the last length. She now. Got back in the lead by the turn. They're in the home stretch. Michaela Morrison wins the race. Isabel Lee finishes second for the Generals. Emily Brooks is in third. And Hannah James and Sarah Bloomquist claim the next few, two spots to be looked at. Push here as they approach the final turn. Larson has caught up to George Cranwell now. They're contesting for the lead. Moreno trailing, but he's in third place. And Larson will win the race. Cranwell is second, Moreno third. Suzanne Bones in lane five. She's made the turn. Brian Edwards in second. And Lauren Howard for the Patriots in third position right now. Closely pressing, pressing Edwards for second place. Stretch, Suzanne Nolan has a comfortable lead. Edwards and Howard are gonna fight for second place. Suzanne Dolan coasting to a victory in the 100-yard breaststroke. And Bryn Edwards is taking second place over Lauren Howard. Katie Moore in fourth place for the Generals. And the final relay of the night, final vo boys event of the night, 400 yard freestyle relay.
Nick Reeves and Jonathan Day. Along with Andrew Loringer now. All three in the lead at the end of the, of the first lap. a small lead as we approach the end of the first leg. And there you see the team, the relay teams in the first three positions. Zach Rosenthal. Has a lead for the page at this point. Washington Lee is in close pursuit. through the relay. The Yorktown team in lane five has an advantage. Jaya Kampati is closing the gap. Approaching the final leg of the relay. Mike Papalardo in the pool first. In lane five for the Patriots. Brian Meade though in close pursuit. Papalardo trying to hold the lead against Washington Lee. Strong challenge from Brian Meade. Meade has tied for the lead as we go to the final lap. Meade now has the lead. And we're in the home stretch. Brian Meade swimming from behind. Close the gap. He's dueling Mike Papalardo now for the win. And Meade wins it. Meade and his team have taken the relay. Yorktown is second. Yorktown also claims third and fourth place in the boys' 400-yard freestyle relay. For Catherine Manuel has an early lead for her team. Caitlin Luncher and Elizabeth Romano, though, also contending for the lead. And Romano and Manuel are more or less tied as they come in to the fourth lap of the race. in third place as we complete the first leg of the relay. Isabel Lee in lane four. Drew Affair in lane three. In the lead, but Mariah Bowman coming on strong. 
And Bowman has tied the race. Two teams contesting for first place right now. Bowman swimming strongly now, taking a slight lead as she comes into her fourth lap. And Bowman has an edge in the lead right now. Catherine Lundy is able to swim from the lead now. Another Ridgeway. In second position. Monday holding the lead against Ellie Ridgeway. And we are now in the anchor leg of the race. Michaela Morrison given a large lead. We'll try to hold it off against Evie Geisman. And Morrison and Geisman will swim for the win right now. is closing the gap but she is running out of time Morrison now approaching the final turn and we are in the home stretch Morrison still in front guys from charging And Morrison will win it. Morrison and her team will win. Yorktown takes first place. Washington Lee second. Beth Gens swims the Yorktown team to third place. And that brings the swim meet to a close. The swim dive team scores. You see them there, Yorktown, 197, 118.